Hi, you guys. So this is problem 10, chapter 4, the Nielsen Engineering Textbook. And uh, it's a continuation of problem 9. So we have a 24 volt in series with um, actually an 80 and 20, which I combined in the previous video into 100 ohm resistors. Doesn't matter, equivalent. We have a voltage drop of 4 volts, which we found in, in problem 9, across this 25 ohm resistor, and then a 40 uh, 40 milliamp brand current leaving that node, this node right here. So in this problem, we're finding the power, uh, the power from the this current source, um, or from that, that branch current. We want to find this power, and we also want to prove that power developed is equal to power dissipated. So to find the current here, we have to recognize that these two are connected in parallel. This branch current is in parallel with this four volts, four volts. So therefore, it has the same polarity. So, part A, we have P, 40 milliamps, is equal to V, I. The V is going to be four volts. And what is the I? The I According to the passive sign convention. Oh, wait, wait a second. Well, I gotta see what that I is. It? Oh, it's 40 million. <laughs> the I, according to the passive sign convention, should have the tail to the positive and the nose to the negative, it means that this is a negative source, uh, that it's gonna have a negative value. So we need negative 40 milliamps. Okay. So we put that for times negative 0.04 and you come up with negative 0 0.16 watts. So this is consuming power. Over here we have in part B we have um, E of 24 volts is going to be V I. And what is the I leaving that? The I's of the 24 volt source is going to be um, 24 minus 4 over 100, which is 20 over 100, which is 0.2 amps. So therefore, this is going to be V is 24 volts times 0.2 amps, 0.2 amps, 24 times 0.2 will give you 4.8 watts. That's being generated by this voltage source. So this is negative 0 0.16 watts. This is 4.8 watts. Now we need to prove that power developed and power dissipated are equal. So we know that power we have right here, let's count for it, 44.8 watts that's generated here, 0.16 watts that's burned up there, and the rest of them is going to be resistors. Resistors always consume energy and generate heat. So what's that, what's the power across that resistor? P sub 100 then is going to be well, P is either, we have two choices, right? P is of computing power across resistors. P is equal to V squared over R, or P is equal to I squared R. And we use whatever we have the information for. So here, we have I, which we computed P previously to be 0.2 amps. I squared R is 100, when you put that 0.2 squared times 100 to come up with 4 watts is, um, yeah, 4 watts is burned up there. And, um, and then there is a voltage drop that occurs there. So P of 25 ohms, that's going to be V squared over R. And that will give us V is 4, 4 squared over 25, so we go 
4 squared divided by 25. That gives us 0 0.64 watts. So power consumed or dissipated is equal to 4 watts plus 0 0.64 watts plus 0.16 watt. And we have 4 plus 0.64 plus 0.16. That gives us 4.8 watts. Therefore, we prove that power dissipated is equal to power developed. Go for B. Okay.